OK, welcome to the next tutorial in the Unity 5 platform game series. What we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to add something called a kill zone, um, and we're also going to add our first hazard as well. So to begin with, let's add the kill zone. So if you go into the assets, the standard assets, 2D, in the prefabs folder, and you'll see that you've got something called a kill zone. So all you have to do just grab that and drag it into the project. If we zoom out a bit, you'll see that the kill zone pretty much spans the level. Now what we'll do is we'll adjust that a bit so it's just below our scene window. Now what will happen if we play the game is you'll notice that now if our character falls, he falls so far and then he goes back to the beginning of the level. Now our kill zone's a bit high at the minute so let's move it down a bit. So if we get the kill zone, let's move it down to around there, let's see how that is. Okay, so now, yeah that's better. So every time he falls in the kill zone, the game resets back to the, the character's original position. Right, okay, let's add a hazard next, but before we do that, let's go back to our assets folder. We're going to keep things tidy, so let's create a folder called images. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to add an image of a hazard which in our case is going to be a saw. Now what I've done for you is on Moodle you'll see that there's already a saw ready for you to use. So it's on the the unit 16 procedural program with unity page right down towards the bottom of the topics. So the saw is a saw, a circular saw and it's a PNG file with a transparent background. So make sure you save that or you can get your own from the internet but just make sure that it's got a transparent background. OK, so once you've got that, when it's a case of save it, um, if we go to wherever you've saved it, ignore my random images, there's lots on there, um, and it's just a case of make sure you've got your images folder selected, grab your saw image, drag it from the location into Unity, into the images folder. So you've got your, your saw in there now. So let's zoom in a bit on, on our scene window. And let's drag and drop the saw into our game. Right, so you notice it's a bit too big at the minute. So what we'll do is we'll shrink it down by clicking on the white square. Shrink it down so it's just big enough to fit in the gap. You might need to move it around a bit. So I would have mine something like that. So now if you play the game, you'll notice that our robot boy doesn't actually affect him yet because what we need to do is we need to add a box collider to our saw so if you click on the saw in the hierarchy add component physics 2d circle collider you'll see that you've now got a circle around the edge of the saw so now if you play if you go up to the saw you can't actually walk through it anymore you can actually jump on top of it yeah, so it's acting like a platform at the minute, which is fine. And then what we'll do in the next tutorial is we'll have a look how to get this spinning and how to get it working as an actual hazard. OK, so I'll see you then in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching.